Hey guys! So today I will be talking about science and the reason why I'm talking about science is because I need to graduate middle school and in order for me to graduate middle school I need a 3.5 grade point average in order to graduate. Right now I have a 2.2 .2, so I need to at least bring it up. And in order for me to bring that the good start would to bring all my grades up. So slowly with the one that I'm currently failing, which is not failing, but I have a C in science and I'm trying to get to a B. So I asked my teacher, Mr. Hunter, hello Mr. Hunter, if I could make a video or ex do something for extra credit. So, I'm a, so he told me I can make a video about science and something that relates to science. And I chose, why not do it about hair? Since I love hair and we all know that hair is the biggest thing in science. Well, not the biggest, but it contains chemical reaction, which is like part of science, which is like basically science. So I decided, why not do it about hair since I love dyeing my hair so much. So, oh, I just cracked my jaw. So, without further ado, let's get started to the video on science on hair, on hair coloring, basically. So, the first main question is, what is hair? Hair is mainly keratin. I'm not sure how you spell it, but it's either this, curtain, I'm not sure how you say it, curtain or keratin, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to say keratin, hope you guys don't mind. But if it's the right one, I'm sorry. But I'm just going to say keratin because it sounds more nice. <laughs> well, hair is mainly keratin, which is the same protein that you find in fingernails and skin. The natural color of your hair depends on the ratio of quantities of two other proteins. And those two proteins are amelium and familium. I'm not sure how you spell I'm not sure if it's in reverse or not, but in my camera it's showing that it's in reverse, so I'm sorry. But if it's not in reverse, then... Oh, I just cracked my jaw again. Emelian is responsible for brown to black hair shades. While familian, I'm not sure how you say it, but I'm guessing it's familian, is, is responsible for golden, blonde, ginger, and red colors. The absence of either types of melanin pro produces white to gray hair. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these words wrong, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not used to these words, and they're like really hard, so sorry. Now the next topic, which is how bleaching slash lightening your hair works. Bleach is used to lighten hair. The bleach reacts with the melanin in hair, removing the color in an irreversible chemical reaction. The bleach oxidizes the melanin molecule. The melanin is still present, but the oxidized molecule is colorless. However, bleach hair tends to have a pale to yellow tint in it. The yellow color is the natural color of keratin, or curtain. Curtain. <laughs> The which is the structural protein in hair. Also, bleach reacts more radiantly with the dark emelian pigment than with the familian, which is the one that is responsible for <sighs> blonde hair. So some gold or red residue color may remain after lightening. Hydrogen peroxide is one of the most common lightening agents because it's so powerful. The peroxide is using an alkaline solution. Which, open the, which opens the hair shaft to allow the peroxide to react with the melanin. And that is how bleach or lightening your hair works. Now moving on to the next topic, which is, which is temporary hair color. Now another word for temporary hair color is semi-permanent. Semi-permanent and temporary hair color, you get the same idea. They're hair colors that don't last long on your hair. They only have a limited amount of time to stay on your hair. So after a couple washes and shampooing, the color will eventually fade out and you will be back to your color that was before when you put the temporary hair color on. So temporary or semi-permanent hair color may deposit acidic dyes onto the outside of the hair shaft or may consist of small pigment molecule that can slip inside the hair shaft. Using a small amount of peroxide or none at all. In some cases, a collection of several colorant molecules enter the hair to form a larger complex inside the hair shaft. Shampooing the hair will eventually dissolve temporary hair color. These products don't contain ammonia, me ammonia meaning the hair shaft isn't opened up during processing, and the hair natural color is retained once the product washes it out, which I already told you earlier. So that is the science of hair and hair coloring. I'm sorry if this video was less detailed and not that much, but I did try my best. I did some massive research, and it was really hard to film this video and pronouncing some of the words that I didn't know how to pronounce. I had to write them down, and I'm pretty sure I pronounced, like, probably some of the words wrong. And I'm sorry if you guys didn't understand half the things, but hopefully it turns out better. So, 
Yeah, um, I really hope this video brings my grade up a little bit because I, I, it, it really means a lot for me to graduate and I really want to graduate. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and so leave a comment down below tell me what grade you think this video deserves. An A, a B, a C, a D, an F, E? You tell me. But make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye, guys.